This is Brett Anderson, restaurant critic and features writer at NOLA.com, the Times Picune. I started going to J&J Seafood back around 2007. It's in Gretna, in the shadow of the Crescent City Connection, and some friends who lived in Algiers told me about it. It has become one of my favorite places for crawfish in New Orleans. J&J has been serving boiled seafood, turkey necks, and pig's feet for 23 years now, but they're never busier than in crawfish season, which is just getting underway. We have our customers that come in there now and say, man, I don't know what y'all are doing with these crawfish and what y'all are doing to those turkey necks, but whatever you're doing, don't stop. <laughs> when you eat broiled crawfish is when you eat them from J&J's. We, 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 uh, we take pride in what we do, and we love it. You know, we, I, I love to see the smile on their face. I love to see them come in and say, when they say, can I taste one? You let them taste it. Mmm, mm, yeah. Give me 10 pounds. Carl Jackson is one of six brothers born and raised in Gretna. Four of those brothers work at J&J. You'll find Michael up front working the cash register. James is usually in the boiling room wearing rubber boots, often alongside Richard. Carl, the eldest of the four, appears to be in charge. The, the, the good part about it is we'll, we have fun. And we'll, we'll, we'll fuss at each other, you know, we'll go through that stuff, brother stuff, you know, and, and if we don't agree on something, then they'll come back and say, well, you know, Carl kind of crazy. I say, yeah, I say, but at the end of the day, it all comes out right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Dorothy Jackson raised her six boys as a single mother. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But she, and she was a strong lady. She raised, you know, she raised, uh, she raised six boys on her own and kept us in line. Nine o'clock, we had to be in. In to get the strap. <laughs> Carl was always the boiler in the family, but he credits Dorothy, who passed away four years ago, with teaching him about seasoning. And mom always did use a lot of seasoning. And she used to get me in the kitchen and say, look, come here, I want you to stand over this and watch this for me. But I stayed in the kitchen with her and watch the things that she do. And one thing she always did do was do a lot of seasoning. And so I said, well, if we're gonna boil the crawfish, let's boil the crawfish almost the same way, similar, you know? Let's put some of this, a little bit of that, a little. I can't say what all I put in my crawfish because I don't <laughs> want nobody stealing my recipe. You understand? Given how many places around New Orleans sell crawfish, I asked Carl, why should people choose to go to J&J? &J? All I want you to do is taste mine. Just a taste. Just, just one crawfish. Just taste one, and then you'll see. If you really like, if you really love your crawfish seasoned well, if you're a crawfish eater, you're gonna come in. I have some people that have been, that's been coming to me now for what? 23 years. Crawfish haven't changed. I love them. They're spicy. <laughs> <laughs>